how to create warped designs such as this in Affinity Photo, PC or Mac. Go to the Ellipse tool, select the ellipse and create a very quick ellipse. And make certain the fill is filled with a gradient. So just go to the gradient tool and select elliptical fill. Once you've done that, what you need to do is convert it into a pixel layer. So go to a layer and then rasterize. Because the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the linked layers. So just go to a layer and duplicate linked. So duplicate linked and then just resize that design. And you can see over here in the layers panel, pixel, pixel, both are pixels. And you also can see a link there as well. Now I've got a shortcut for this, control five, I'm just gonna command five, and I'm just gonna create multiple copies. All again, exactly the same, duplicate linked. Just quickly create that. Create, say 10, 15 of these designs. And you can see as you do that, you've got a nice sort of radial design there. Now the more you create, obviously it's gonna be slower. Obviously it's gonna take more time to process, even with the latest changes with layers. I've noticed it is not super quick. However, got all those designs, they're all pixel layers. So you can see every one of those, all are linked. So what you can do, you can modify the bottom one. However, before you do that, what you can do, you can turn around and say, well, they're linked and I can change the blending mode. So I'm just gonna quickly go over here and I can say, let's go for difference. So you've got difference. Now I want a slightly more blurry effect for this. So I'm gonna go for filters and blur and Gaussian blur. Now this Gaussian blur will be applied to all of the designs, but it's only this shape that's actually being modified. All the rest will take that same aspect. So Gaussian blur, and you can see what happens. It just nicely blurs it like that. And what I'm gonna do then, I'm gonna apply a deform. You can see it's all blurred, but they're all separate blurs. So filters, and then go to distort and deform. So with that, deform there, the panel there. Now with deform, you've got rigid, you've got similarity. They both work reasonably well, but I'm just gonna quickly add some pins around here. I just want it to basically be stuck at that point and simply click there in the center. And as you do that, what you can see is you get this design hurtling out. And you can do the same all over the place. So I just select in that central bit and you can see what happens. You get this nice warped sort of blobs coming out there. And you can do that all the way around. The thing is you've got to know where the, the actual shape is. There's no point where well, you can, you can put handles over there if you want to do that but it's best to just do it obviously where the, the shape is. And you can see what happens. You've got this design that's just hurtles out and you can modify it in numerous ways. You can plumb very, very close to each other and you can get some very nice sort of warping sort of designs using that approach. So I just simply just drag out there. And I'm just gonna fill the entire document with this design. So I'm just gonna go down there, down the bottom. Right, so I've got the entire design now, except that top bit, typical. Just saw top bit there. So got this nice design now. Well, you can do a bit more than that because not only deform or all the other filters can be used. What you can also use, layer effects. Simply just go down here to the bottom here with layer effects and you've got a little FX. So with the FX, click that. And I'm gonna go for 3D. So 3D, straight away you can see what happens. You get this lovely, sort of unusual three-dimensional effect, especially with the multiple layers and also the linked. And you can still change the blending mode if you want. If you decide, you know what, I don't like difference, I can. you can always go to and check that to linear burn, color burn, whatever. All the various blending modes. And you can modify the radius there and you can see as you do that, you get a nice glassy effect sort of nice ripple glass effect there. Also, you can modify the soften, change your opacity. You've got profiles here as well. You can always change the profiles and create some different effects that way. You can also remove the profile. If you don't want the profile, you don't have to have the profile. We've also got other options here. Specular, you can go for that. Ambient, you can modify that and just change it. You can see it creates all kinds of different, and you might want to reduce that down. 
However, key thing, you can change this. And you change that. But, however, what you can also do is the colour. So you can turn around and say, well, let's go for a different colour. Now I'm just going to go for purple. Nice purple colour. And you can see the design there. And again, I can still move that around and create different designs. Create nice shadows. So I think that's just probably that works best. But again, you can change the ambient. You can work at it, see what. Perfectly reasonable just to keep trying different things. Just change it, maybe push the radius up to the max. Up to you. What you can also do, you can add other lights. So if you want to just go to add, and I'm gonna go for, this time, instead of white, I'm gonna go for a blue. I'm gonna go for the opposite. So I'm just gonna go stretch it the other way. And I'm gonna, maybe not that far, let's just go there. And you can always try it again. Just try the color combinations, what looks best. Combinations of different colors, sometimes they just look right and you think, yep. And you can see then what you can do, you can move the direction of that light around, separate from the other one. And of course you can always go back to the light one and decide, you know what, let's just change that. And you can change it so you can just get that right look. And then once you're happy with it, you don't have to do any more. Once you're happy with your design, you can always click close. Now what you've also got is you've got, you can go up here, to filters and you've got repeat deform. Now that might not have a good effect, I don't know, because sometimes you produce it, but it's a nice experimentation. So it's always worth just thinking, you know what, that looks great. You can always save it. You can always go to file and save as, or go for export. Export as a JPEG, PNG or whatever. But you can always go, let's try it. Filters, repeat deform. And you get a nice, oh, that really looks good as well. Also again, repeat deform. Mm, not so good. However, of course, what you can always do, you can always go back to the filter and go to filter and distort and deform. Get the panel there. And then you can modify it a little bit again. If you want, just move it around. Sometimes if it just doesn't work, cancel. Just go back to what you've got. Perfectly reasonable. Also, what you do, you can always go and change the colors again if you wish. And of course, you can always flatten this whole thing. Just go to layer and simply merge visible, merge the whole lot. And you've got a nice design, which you can then manipulate further. So just quickly do that. So with that, just go to merge visible. All be merged into a single design now. Now you've lost obviously this linked feature, but of course, what you can do if you want, and you can always remove all the others. You don't have to keep them. You can always delete them. Just get rid of them all. Got that design now. You can always combine that. So simply go over to layer, and again, down to duplicate linked. And you can create a copy of that. Layer, again, duplicate linked, or in my case, quick shortcut, control five, or maybe use a selection. Just as good, just create a quick selection, hold the elliptical marquee, marquee tool, just create a selection around that, that design, and then use that as a link layer. Just as good. So you can create all kinds of different designs. Control five. And down to, and then of course, what you can do, they're all again, exactly the same as before. They're all linked, so, what you do, just go to filters and distort and deform. Again, around this edge, if you want. And this is the one that's selected, so just go around there. And then distort that. And what happens, you get this lovely twirl design going outwards from there. And you can create all kinds of ripple designs like this. Like bubble designs, that's more like bubbles, I suppose, than ripples. So you can see there, you've got nice bubbles there. Again, out that way. And you can always go the other direction if you want as well, if you want just to avoid any sort of white edge there. So I just notice it's just forming. And just push that down there. 
Okay, so you've got this design now. Remember, of course, key thing, always click apply. Once you're finished, apply. So you've got this design. Well, you can now flatten it if you want. You can always simply go to layer and merge visible. Or you could go over here again and maybe add, now you might be pushing it, maybe hit effects as well with 3D and so on. You can create all kinds of, I'm just gonna try it. Might crash. Sometimes it does when you push it too far. It's always best to go to file and save as, because sometimes it does fall over. So click there and then get 3D again. And then sometimes you might think, well, you know what? Doesn't work as well. Or just by moving that around, you might be able to get different things, different colors, different ways. Or might decide, you know what? I don't like that. So you don't have to keep it. You can always remove it. But also what you can do, of course, you can always again, as I said, layer and again, merge visible. So the entire design can be merged. So let's just quickly remove these. And you've got this design. Well, you know what you can do now? You can quickly create again, layer and duplicate linked. Control five, let's move that out of the way so I can actually see that. Control five, control five. And you can do that again, of course, create all kinds of different designs. Now you can go down there, maybe decide this time, which I didn't do before, I could go with filters, and maybe a blur, Gaussian blur. Don't maybe, don't wanna blur it that much, just a little bit of a blur, click apply, and then go to filters. And again, every single one of those are all modified. So distort and deform. Just go around the edge again. I always like going around, I'm always disappointed that there's no sort of feature to freeze it. Be nice if you could freeze the shape. But the only way around that, I think, is put these handles around the edge of the, the layer. And then once you've done that, then you can work from the center and you can drag out again. And you can see what happens then. You get more of these sort of ripple designs or bubbles. And again, got that dragged out there, or dragged out there. And again, go over here you can see more bubbles or ripples. What do you want to call them? You can create sort of peacock designs. In fact, I think that's what I'll be calling it, peacock design, because it looks like a sort of peacock design-ish. And then click apply. And you can see the design there. Well, hope you found this of interest. This is for PC and Mac. You can do exactly the same on PC and Mac. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.